had a soybean field with a corn plant, two corn plants in it. Um, we are a corn soybean rotation. So every other year we'll come in with either crop and it's pretty common to have the previous year's crop in that field. It's not that big of a deal with soybeans because the corn is gonna be growing so tall, it takes over and the soybeans then wouldn't get any sort of sunlight and it's they'd stay small and not take much yield away. But with corn, both the cleanliness of the field, farmers like their fields looking clean, plus that corn plant is taking away from yield potential of all the soybean plants around it. It's taking up nutrients, it's taking up water, and so it is essentially a weed because we're not harvesting corn there. So we're able to fly over it. This is with the Phantom 4 multispectral. I had to fly the 70 acres, I think it took me over three batteries because once again, I had to get high resolution two megapixel cameras on the Phantom 4 Multispectral, we made it work, but it was not scalable. But now that we have a drone that's 20 megapixels and then five megapixels on the multispectral side, we're gonna be able to do this analysis at 200 feet at 30 mile an hour and crank through some fields. Anyways, sorry, go ahead, Randall. Is what's being, is what's being discovered that there is a corn plant present or that there's plants around the corn plant that are being stressed or, or not as healthy because the corn plant is there? What is the, the camera seeing? So you would, you could potentially see a yield, a reflectivity score hit on the soybean plants around it. But most likely we're just looking at the visual camera and we ah. see based off of machine learning, we have trained it to say, that's a weed, that's a corn plant in a soybean field. And so it's basically just looking for the corn plants. Gotcha, okay, so this is not multispectral data that is necessarily being used here. Correct, you can do this analysis with multispectral or with spatial, but you need one of the two. You need either accurate multispectral or high resolution and accurate spatial. And we're getting both rather than just one with the phantom line. But what we're able to do, sorry, go ahead. No, you go ahead. But what we're able to do is fly over it very quickly now. And then with Agrimo, they're able to analyze, understand where all of the individual corn plants are, pick out a prescription map. And then we actually flew it with the T30 and sprayed just those corn plants within the soybean field. So we saved on herbicide costs. Uh, I think there's a slide or two in there uh, on the next slide showing what the yield difference that we were able to get. So we took a T30. You can see there's a couple different aspects here, but it's yield hit of the corn plant being in there. It's also, if you were to spray that field, you would have to drive through it. And typically driving through a field, you're taking a one bushel per acre hit anyway, anytime you're driving through it because you're mashing down plants. So you have to take that into account. Uh, you also have to take into account how much it costs to spray using a giant machine compared to an agris. And so overall, we were able to uh, profit about or save on yield potential over $3,000 by doing it this way with an agris. Um, compared to a ground rig. But either way, we're able to identify the weeds and spray just those weeds.